Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. Here is my pitch for a Lego Wonder Woman movie. Go back in time just a few years, and the idea that Warner Brothers would even consider producing something like a Lego Wonder Woman movie would be laughed at. But with the first Lego movie making over 450 million at the box office, and the Wonder Woman movie making over 820 million, bringing these two franchises together suddenly doesn't seem that silly anymore. Wonders has already appeared in both the original Lego movie and its spin off, the Lego Batman movie, voiced by Colby Smulders. Rumour is that she has now been replaced for the Lego movie 2 by Gal Gadot, who of course plays the live action Wonder Woman. But if they did make a Lego Wonder Woman movie, I'd want Colby Smulders to return. For years, she was the favourite to play Wonder Woman, and it was a neat bit of casting when she finally got to portray the character in minifigure form. Since we've just had a live action version of her origin story, let's skip that and get straight to the action with Wonder Woman already being an established superhero. And rather than draw from the modern gritty stuff, my film would be inspired more by the Golden Age comics and the 1970s TV show. Whilst the animation would have to be consistent with the established Lego Movieverse stop motion effect, it would be great if that could be blended with the visual style of the 40s Fleischer Studios Superman cartoon. Set in a stylized perpetual 1940s New York, Art Deco, Jazz, and sailors in white uniforms on every street. Wonder Woman struggling fighting crime with holding down a job as Major Steve Trevor's secretary in the US Air Force. Steve is completely unaware that the quiet girl running his front desk is also the mighty Amazonian warrior that keeps saving his bacon every other day. Wonder Woman does have quite an underrated rogues gallery, but still my first thought was to have her battling her arch nemesis, Cheetah. Whilst that would be all kinds of awesome, Cheetah is already going to appear as the baddie in the upcoming live action sequel. I'd still like to include the character, but as her alter ego, Barbara Ann Minerva. In this film, Barbara would not yet have made the transformation into villainous. She'd be a daring British archaeologist and explorer, as well as a close friend of Wonder Woman, even knowing her secret identity as Diana Prince. Barbara goes to Steve for help in recovering the ancient golden apple. Legend has it, the apple was sent down to Earth from Mount Olympus by Zeus thousands of years ago. The apple is said to be the source of immense power, and already the enemy are seeking it out for their own evil purposes. Making sure to stay away from any potential controversy, the words war or Nazis would never be used, and instead the bad guys would simply be known as the Axis Force, led by the evil scientist Dr. Doris Zool. With a little persuasion from Wonder Woman, Steve agrees to aid Barbara. Tipping the hat to Indiana Jones, the three would set off on a globe-trotting adventure that would eventually lead them into the heart of a dense jungle. Like the Lego Ninjago movie, we'd see the inclusion of real-world vegetation, and rather than being made of Lego, the jungle would be a tropical rainforest of broccoli. Right in the heart of the forest lies an ancient labyrinth, filled with cunning booby traps and monstrous guards like the Minotaur, Cyclops and Medusa. When our heroes finally make it to the heart of the labyrinth, they find the apple waiting for them atop a pedestal. The only warning being some ancient Greek text Barbara translates as, For the fairest. Before they can ponder what that means, Dr. Zool swoops in and steals the golden apple for herself and eats it. The apple seems to grant her enhanced strength and a scuffle breaks out in which Barbara is thrown through a wall. She lands in another room next to a wooden chest which catches her eye. Wonder Woman manages to restrain Dr. Zool with her lasso, and she becomes dizzy and disorientated before passing out. Steve takes the subdued Dr. Zool back to New York, and she is taken to Star Labs, along with everything recovered from the labyrinth. There she is detained for observation, but the power of the apple starts to take effect. Zool starts to grow and grow until she is towering above everyone. She has become Giganta. Playing homage to old B-movies like Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, Giganta rampages across the city, overturning cars and toppling buildings. She grabs Barbara through the window of her apartment and demands that she tell her how to change back. But Barbara insists she doesn't know. Enraged, Giganta kidnaps Barbara and scales the tallest skyscraper she can find. Steve takes to the air, leading a squadron of fighter planes, and they try to take down Giganta, but it's no use. Wonder Woman tries to use her lasso to restrain Giganta, but at her increased size, her strength is far greater. 
wanders, suddenly remembers her fight with Medusa and flies off to retrieve her head from Star Labs. Shouting at Barbara to cover her eyes, she holds up the Medusa head. Giganta is instantly transformed into stone. As the petrified Giganta starts to crumble, Barbara falls from its grasp, but Steve swoops in to save her with his plane. Wonder Woman flies down to the ground and amongst the broken pieces and studs, finds Dr. Zool back to a regular size and feeling a little groggy. Normal events resume and Diana returns to her desk job once more, but Steve seems to be treating her a little different, perhaps hinting that he has figured out her secret identity. Meanwhile, Barbara has kept the chest she found in the labyrinth. She opens the chest, and whilst we don't see the contents, a bright light shines out onto her face, giving her eyes a feline appearance as a smile slowly spreads across her face. For the end credits, I'd love to see a legified version of this sequence from the 70s TV show, complete with the classic Wonder Woman theme song. So there you have it, that's my pitch for a Lego Wonder Woman movie. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Laters.